Hi, uh, my name is Randy Brandstrom. I'm uh, with Tough Bar Incorporated. Uh, we've been developing fiberglass rebar since 1998. I'm just going to go through a history of the company and where we're at today. I'd like to share that with you. I'm going to uh, you know, go through a PowerPoint uh, presentation. Just bear with me for a minute. So a little bit of background, uh, the Canadian government uh, put together 14 universities and 22 researchers back in 1995 to find a solution to the crumbling infrastructure in Canada. And they had a mandate to write the Canadian building code, the CSA code within 15 years and publish it. So while they were doing this, uh, they were involved in 1998, they were approached by Dewey Digg develop a threaded bar system for mining applications. And throughout this uh, you know, research, uh, we came up with uh, a threaded bar, but also we came up with a, a rough bar uh, without the threads, it was faster and more economical to make. So in 2007, we decided to see if we can promote and sell it at the uh, World of Concrete. It was very popular and then the uh, Canadian government uh, Simtrack had uh, this organization together and they asked us to develop a family of bars uh, for infrastructure applications. And uh, they recommend that we send samples into the University of Sherbrooke for durability testing and uh, physical properties and uh, mechanical properties testing. So we did that. And I guess our bar uh, showed well, it had very good properties. And then they asked us about developing bins. So we did a proof of concept for Benz and that came off very well. So they invited us to be uh, chair members of the National Research Council Centra, which we still are going on for another you know, five year period. And since then, we developed 40 GPA, 60 GPA bars, large diameter dowels, complex bends, uh, headed bars for anchors, uh, lifting anchors. Uh, we also developed uh, just recently a 60 GPA bar uh, bends that can be used uh, to replace uh, in stirrups and stuff and reduce the congestion by 30% and replace stainless steel in those applications essentially. Uh, some of the things that are really important that uh, we comply with all the building codes, materials, specification standards. And the really important ones are the uh, CSAS 807 that's a material specification in Canada. And the ASTM 7957, which is a material specification for the United States, which just came out uh, three years ago. Um, the United States uh, has approved it in the federal ASHTO codes back in 2009. And uh, hopefully the ACI 318 subsection 440 is coming out in 2021, it looks like. But in the meantime, most countries have adopted the Canadian Building Codes, the S806, and they've been out since 2002 and updated several times and are probably the, you know, the standard right now for the building design. Some things that are, that are important, uh, we have 14 different tests that we go through. We have mechanical uh, properties, uh, we have physical properties as well that we go through. And while we're manufacturing, a lot of these tests are done in the plant based on the material specification for different lot sizes. Um, some of the most significant ones are the durability properties. And this is where the bar gets placed in an alkaline solution at 60 degrees centigrade for three months and gets pulled against the strength and compared to a new bar strength. And this is really important because it qualifies how good your resins are, your glass are, the wet out. And uh, any time that we change supplier, we have to go through this durability testing, which can take up to six months by the time you make the samples, do the, run the test, and then uh, get the reports. We also have, uh, have fire rating tests. Uh, you know, we went uh, three hours, uh, we need one hour for bridges, you need two hours for parking garages. And you need uh, three hours for tunneling applications. 
we provided bars with one of the other chair members uh, that we're associated with, and we both went over three hours. In the first test, we did it with 60 millimeters of cover, and then we redid the test the next year with 40 millimeters of cover, and they both went over three hours. But the big advantage is when you reduce the cover, the bar spacing widened, and as a result, the slab gets stronger, and you can use reduce the amount of bar that you need. I believe there's a 25 to 50 percent reduction in the uh, amount of bar that was used by reducing the cover. Uh, a little bit of comparison uh, that we've got uh, a 40 GPA, 60 GPA, 50 GPA bars. Uh, we own our own IP. We make our design and build and invent our own technology. And we have the capability of installing plants and having multiple plants you know, throughout the world. Our strategy uh, from the beginning was to become one of the largest suppliers of GFRP PV bar in the world. And that's by developing technology, securing the patents on it, then automate the process, and that way we can you know, scale. And uh, the growth strategy is to set up licensed manufacturing or joint ventures in other countries. And that's why, you know, four years ago, we rebranded the company from PP Compass as the top bar to promote the brand internationally. Our products, uh, we have bars ranging from, you know, number two to 12, 10 millimeter to 38 millimeter. We, we can go larger if there is demand, we can develop it. We can also take a, a number eight bar, 25 millimeter bar, and we can coil it uh, to a, about a four meter diameter, 12 foot diameter approximately, and stand a continuous length of a thousand meter continuous length of bars so that if you have deep piles or utility poles where your uh, splice isn't allowed, this is one way that uh, you can get away with all splice and also you can speed up the installation if you have long runs. Uh, we have bent bars, uh, 50 GPA, and well, uh, the new 60 GPA bent bar, which is really important to reduce congestion and stirrups, that type of thing. We've also developed lifting anchors where we can ultimately you know, we can lift you know, 2,000, two tons or five tons, et cetera, depending on the size of a, a lifting anchor. We also developed a panel system for barrier fencing. And we also started with rock bolts that lend themselves to be used as forward form ties. And we also have large diameter dowels, which are uh, you know, very useful in joining slabs and track slabs and that type of thing. And we also uh, have a um, headed bar that we uh, come up with as well for you know, anchoring. We have ongoing continuing R&D. Uh, we, we've been heavily involved. Uh, we have you know, a lot of patents out there. Uh, we have a, you know, seven different technologies and we developed you know, probably 23 patents and patent pending in different countries throughout the world. Our research partners are, you know, University of Sherbrooke, Queen's University, Edinburgh, Alberta, First Columbia, Western University, and the University of Lincoln, Nebraska, where we have uh, concrete utility poles or eight feet in, you know, in length. We're also members of SimTrek, the National Research Council. Uh, we're voting members of the CSA, Fiberglass Manufacturers Council. We're involved with the ACI committees and the ASTM uh, material specifications and the uh, Civil Engineering Association and the ACMA associations. Uh, patent list, uh, there's quite a bit here, it's hard to read, but uh, we have patents in Canada, the United States, Japan, India, China, Europe, uh, GCC countries, Saudi, Arab Emirates, uh, Australia, and, and the United States. Uh, we have trademarks out there in different countries. There's still some trademarks take quite a bit of time to, to get out there. We have others that are still waiting for approval. Uh, some of the advantages with Tough Bar, uh, we're ISO certified. And um, we, if we put a plant in, uh, install a new plant, it takes us about eight months to build a plant out, 10 months to install it uh, total. And uh, the next month, uh, you'd be running a uh, tough bar and you'd be ISO certified one month after we do the audit. 
and we went manufacturing tough fire and rust like plants as installed or commissioned. You don't have to go through a couple of years of development and that type of thing to get the approvals. Uh, we're chair of members of you know, Sintra, as we mentioned before. Um, we have a high quality brand recognition. Our mandate was always to build the best bar we can, which uh, for us, we're looking for confidence and 100 years sustainability so that you know, you have uh, you know, 50 years from now, 100 years from now, you're not concerned about the material qualities or the test procedures or the manufacturing process. Uh, we have a high production speeds. Uh, we're highly automated. Uh, we build everything in house. We have a strong engineering team. And we can scale this uh, rapidly, and we're very good at projecting technology. Uh, just some supplementary slides uh, of some of the projects we've done, whether the case studies. This is the Peace Bridge in Calgary, where all the precast labs were the top part of the concrete precast labs. These are some of the in house test equipment that we supply with uh, the plant or a licensee that we have Traverse Shear. There's also interlaminar shear now that we have to supply. We have cure ratio testing, temperature transition testing, that type of thing. Uh, we have to deal with water absorption tests, uh, cross-section rate, void content. Uh, we have a 200,000 pound full test fixture with uh, automatic clamping features and rapid full testing features built in. Uh, these are some projects that we've done here, uh, light rail transit systems, uh, more bridge uh, applications. Uh, small bridge applications on the Maritimes, you know, Ontario, more bridge applications. Anyways, uh, you know, uh, thank you very much for spending this time. Uh, if you have any questions or whatever, please contact us. Um, let's turn it back here. I really appreciate this time. If you have any questions there, please contact us at Top Bar. And um, if, you know, if you're looking to special applications or if you have uh, civil engineering projects and need some support with the corrosion applications, please give us a call. Or if you're interested in licensing or machine uh, or plant, that type of thing. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we uh, get an opportunity to work with you in the future. Thank you.